Hello in the name of Jesus Christ. Today I'm going to do a quick vlog in regard to salvation. Now if you've stumbled across this or you're, you're seeking to find out more information on salvation and how to receive it, then I pray that this, this little vlog will bless you. You know, but first of all I'd like to give everyone some, some bad news, then some really bad news, then some extremely bad news. Now, the bad news is, is God is good, is perfect and is holy. Now you may think, well why is that bad news? Well it's bad news in the fact that we are all sinners. And because God is so holy and perfect and good, he cannot have sin in his presence. And the word of God says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's me, you and everyone else. That's bad news. The even worse news is that the wage of this sin is death. Now this death is speaking in regard to the second death, which is hell, which is eternal separation from God. And there's no get out of hell free. You know, once you're in there, you're in there. And the even worse news, which I'd even say is diabolical, is nothing you can actually do about it. That is, there's nothing you can do about it of yourselves. You know, the word of God says, you know, all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags to him. So anything good we do is of no use. And what's even worse is we just think to ourselves, well, if I'm really good and I keep all the commandments and, and obey the law and that lot, you know, God is bound to accept me because, you know, I'm a good, righteous person. But the word of God says in regard to that, it says, therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall be no flesh justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. So the law in itself is really just a yardstick. It just shows you how sinful we are and it avails nothing. We cannot save ourselves. It just shows us how sinful we are. But that's all the bad news out of the way. The good news is, is that God commendeth his love towards us in that while we yet sinners, Christ died for us. Now that's good news. And you may think, why is it good news? Eh? God died. Why is that good? Well, the reason that's good is because Christ shed his blood for you 2,000 years ago. And the word of God says, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. We can't shed our own blood to save ourselves because we're not holy and perfect. It had to be shed by someone holy and perfect. And that person was Jesus Christ, who was God himself manifest in the flesh. He came down and remitted all our sins by shedding his blood. Whether the sins of the past, the present or the future. It was all dealt with at Calvary. It's all done. Even Jesus said when he was on the cross just before he died, it is finished. Meaning that the sin problem had been dealt with that day. But none of these things won't save you. You know, even the demons know these things. They know God, they know Jesus. And they tremble at it. And it won't save them at all. There's a big difference between knowing who God is and who Jesus is and having faith in him. So really put your trust and believe in him. Now you can't just believe in the fact that, yeah, I believe in Jesus. You need to believe who Jesus is and what he has done. Jesus became sin for you. He took away all your sin. The word of God says, For he hath made him, this is Jesus Christ, to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Jesus became sin for us. In actual fact, the Apostle Paul says that Jesus Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and it was buried, and he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. That is actually the Gospel in there. It's a small summary, but it's the Gospel. If you believe on that, then facts, and believe on Jesus Christ, you will be saved today. And that would be good news, and that would be the Gospel. You know, Religion may say, well, you've got to repent of this and repent of your sins and you've got to do good. That's not the gospel. You know, repentance means to change your mind. I could repent of having porridge this morning and wish I had cornflakes. They ain't going to save me. I could repent about the car I bought, wishing I bought another one. That's not going to save me. Repentance won't save you. It's just to change your mind. Penance won't save you either. 
You know, a lot of religious people teach penance, which is self-atonement. Or if you if you apologise for doing this wrong, or you you go and make amends for someone for hurting them 25 years ago, you know, these are good things, and that's going to help the saviour. No, it's not. Self-atonement will not save you. There's only one atonement for the saviour, and that was done 2,000 years ago at Calvary. That was Jesus Christ, Son of God, who atoned for the sins of the whole world. It wasn't just for a, a select or elect few, as some would teach. It was for all. Because the word of God even says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Not could be saved or might be saved, but shall be saved. And whosoever, I assume, is everyone. Oftentimes in the Bible it says, Whosoever, all, any. This isn't just a select elect few who have got some secret Gnostic knowledge. This is every single human being on earth. You know, if you would believe on Christ and the fact that he died for your sins, that he was buried and he rose again, and all these according to the scriptures, you will be saved now. And my plea is to anyone who, who, who doesn't believe on Christ and wants to know how to get saved, just simply believe them facts and believe on Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus himself says, Verily, verily, which is definitely, definitely, I say unto you, he that believe from me hath, that's present tense, Everlasting life. Now, if you want to know how long everlasting is, works well, forever. It's without end. When it doesn't ever see. So I pray that you would, you would put your trust in this Jesus Christ and Him alone, and you would be saved. And that you would realise it is a free gift to you right now. The Word of God says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works lest any man should boast. You can't work for it. You can't earn it. You can't maintain it. All we need to do is accept this free gift, which is by grace. And grace in itself is an unmerited favour. You know, you can't earn it. It's totally unmerited. Jesus has done all these things for mankind because he loves you. And it's as simple as that. Just believe on him and believe on his love. And believe in the fact that he died for your sins, he was buried and he rose again the third day, and you'll be saved today. And the news gets even better. When you believe these things, not only are you saved forever, you become children of the living God, sons and daughters of God. You're adopted into his family. The word of God says, But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become sons of God. So you will be saved forever and you will be a child forever. That's good news. That's the gospel. So I hope and pray that you accept Jesus Christ now. If you want to know what you need to do, you know, it's quite simple. Just believe on him. Just pray and ask that he save you today. And just believe the fact that he has and he's willing to do it this very second. Now there's one example in the Bible which I just quickly mentioned that's where Paul and Silas, you know, there was there was a Philippine jailer who was just about to kill himself. And basically Paul and Silas said, No, don't you know, I'll paraphrase here for you, don't do that. And then he says, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and else you'll be saved and thy house. It's as simple as that. Don't let religion complicate it. Just simply by faith believe on Jesus Christ. And you will pass from death unto life, and you will be his child forevermore. I hope this helps. God bless. You.